Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So this is gonna be a reading for the sign of Virgo. Virgo, my readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted. Okay, Virgo, let's get into your reading. So we got the Grim Reaper out here. And we got not today, not dealing with the situation, not dealing with someone, not dealing with people, okay? You don't got time. Anyway, back to the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chance. Grow and transform your life. Something is done. It's over. Okay. Y'all got a lot of cards. Y'all got a lot to talk about and a lot to say. So not today. Not dealing. Hurt. Avoiding a conversation. A call. A person. Setting boundaries and still angry. Okay. So we have a dragonfly. dragonfly. Be lighthearted. Finding out things. Things coming to light. Adapting, healing, and changing. We have a camera out here reminiscing a keepsake perception, keepsake perception, learn from the past and making new memories. Learning from the past means fixing those cycles, not continue to, continually repeating them. Girl with the snake paradigm, an empath, narcissist, um, narcissist paradigm, empath and narcissist paradigm, um, being charmed or used, enabled and boundaries. So setting boundaries, but somebody basically, they don't really like you. They just want something that you have or something that you got. So this person is using you um, for whatever it is they can get from you, from you. It could be you giving them things. It could be a service. It could also be time, money, or energy. Basically, the person is basically just using you. That's it. That's all. Okay. Um, coffee cup. Meeting, conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted in a friendship. So somebody, I don't know why that just gave me like somebody that you already were dating. So I don't know if you were in a relationship that's coming to an end. But either way, it seemed like you want some dumb shit anyway, because this person, friendship, don't feel like somebody you don't know. And if it is, you very, very friendly with them because there's kissing, kisses, unconditional love, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. So... Somebody else seems to have had your or seems to have your attention, no matter what is happening here. So, yeah, take a heart resonates for you. But Virgo, you're giving me the vibe or somebody around you. Energy is giving me the vibe that somebody is definitely either cheating or maybe you might not be cheating. Maybe you are done with the relationship since it says it's at an end. But for some reason, your energy is still intertwined and intertangled. So I don't know if this person would appreciate it if you're doing, if they found out you were doing that. Because the energy and the vibe I'm giving, getting is that this was sneaky. Okay, so take it how it resonates for you. I'm just saying. That's the vibe I got. All right, so Virgo, let me find out what was in your energy. So community, marriage. Let me get one more. Okay, so family is important to you, Virgo. Marriage is important. And something about your pathway and your, or your journey is definitely important to you. So it's like your future. So the numbers are 39, 3, 35, 53, 3, or 93. Okay? Um Community, marriage, and pathway. And then this is at the bottom of the deck. So somebody's not dealing with something that is needs to be dealt with head on. They're kind of sneaking away. Um, some type of sneaky behavior or some type of betrayal happening. Um, yeah. Either way, your journey, your family, and your marriage is important to you. Or should be important to you. Or you being married is important to you. So if you are married and this person is, you might be looking to marry somebody else or somebody different. So that, how this car is still at the bottom? That's just that on that, okay? Marriage is definitely in your energy. Like you are strongly, heavily wanting to be in a bond, a, a relationship, some type of marriage. Some type of partnership. All right, let's get into Virgo. Let's get into this reading. 
All right, Virgo, what we got for you on the table? Let's see. All right, things moving quickly, Virgo. The chariot, actually something moving in your favor quickly, just so you know. An upcoming victory. So whatever you're dealing with or whatever you're battling, it totally is going to be a success for you. So using this energy to push forward, to move into your future. Uh, look at this. Like how? How sway? Somebody is definitely juggling a situation. Um, being caught or stuck in between, between two situations. So somebody is definitely not on up and up in y'all energy. And that's just on period because ain't no way. I literally just cut this deck again on this. It was at the bottom of the, the deck. It showed up again, and now it's here. So somebody, y'all better start questioning. But if you know it's not you, you better start questioning whoever you around because somebody is juggling their time um, between you and something else. But either way, it ain't on the up and up. I can tell you that, all right? So I'm going to just say it. Don't kill the messenger. Um, a movement happening, progression of action, integration, determination, willpower, control, direction, departure, and being very courageous, okay? Because it might be something that you may have been afraid to do, but either way, you have positive reinforcement being, you know, in, behind you. It's pushing you, connected to your natural urges, um, something that you could have been uncertain about. But either way, you got a victory. That, that's another card saying that there's a victory coming. All right, Virgo. So standing your guard, standing ground, standing your ground. Boundaries, more boundaries. So creating boundaries and whatever this is. And it looks like to me, I don't know if y'all are going in front of a judge, a mediator, um, somebody that is uh, spiritual or religious to get some type of so this could be this marriage right here, or you could be about to go into something else. And a marriage could be a partnership, a blend of something coming together. But it totally, in y'all energy, seems like some type of love, some type of partnership, or some type of plan, okay? Um, the plan is to be this, or the plan is to do that. But somebody has definitely got marriage vibes on their mind, and you're definitely defending whatever this situation is. So Seven of Wands energy... Being defensive on guard, standing your ground, courage in the face of opposition, not letting anybody say whatever they're saying. So protecting your shit, excuse me, perseverance, uh, and maintaining control. That's it. That's all. So whoever thought that they were, I don't know why here in the lead. So some type of competition. I don't know what that is, but apparently you're in the lead. Virgo, whatever the competition is between you and whoever this person is, significant other, you're totally in a league because you honestly don't even give a fuck. You got the fool's energy, new beginnings, um, taking steps that others would consider foolish, following your own path of personal development. So experiencing positive changes and gaining everything that you need on this mission and this journey. Here go this juggling thing again. Okay, time, money, energy. Somebody's juggling something that is either around you. This person is heavy in your energy if it's not you, Virgo. So, somebody's totally not on the up and up. Or you just ain't on the up and up. Take it how it resonates. But one of y'all, somebody, somebody, anybody, everybody, scream. They ain't right. Okay, they ain't right. So, nine of pentacles. And you got the empress at the bottom of the deck. So definitely heavily bringing things into fruition, a manifestation, uh, a manifestation of money, abundance, definitely in your energy. Um, so that is totally important to you. But think, bringing things into fruition, wealth and abundance, enjoying what you have, enjoying the fruits of your labor and achieving your goals. Doing what you need to do for you. Because when I heard, um, I mean, when I said uh, achieving your goals, I heard desires. So your desires are important. You desire something. And whatever that something is, that's important to you. And so that's something that you're after. You desire something, Virgo. All right, you got two cards that's flipping out and over, and that's going to conclude your reading. And you got a, um, 
look, I was gonna say a mother of wands. So some type of mother figure around. Look, this card came out. I'm telling y'all, mediation, some type of counseling, some type of something is in y'all energy. Um, so I don't know if you're seeing a counselor or some type of guide, some type of leader. Either way, that person is definitely in your energy as well. So the lover's card being here and marriage, totally some type of something coming together. Um, a new beginning of something, bringing it into, or listen, I ain't judging. So, but I don't know if you were married to somebody else and now you want to get married to somebody else. Or if you are married to somebody else and you're thinking about how to be married to somebody else, either way, somebody married to somebody else or was wanting to be some married to somebody else. Cause this is all this is. This looks like somebody wanting to be married to somebody else. You were apparently with some type of narcissist energy, something that was, um, not allowing you to be your best self or letting you go and be your higher self. So you may have always been feeling like you had to guard yourself against this person. Either way, your pathway and their pathway is no longer connecting. You're on a journey somewhere else with to someone else, a different vibe, a higher level soulmate. So that could be your kingdom spouse because that's like a divine thing. Also coming into union and loving yourself. So something about you, Virgo, has changed. You're totally feeling yourself, which now allows you to realize I'm not settling for no dumb shit. So your vibe is ascension and, and higher elevation and oneness with yourself. And don't ask me why I did that, because that looks like the peace sign. So you saying deuces, like double deuces, fuck y'all. So you it looks like you're you're ascending Virgo. And honestly, you put your foot down. You creating lots of boundaries and saying that this is my world. Y'all just living in it. Okay. So I'm creating the thing that I desire. I ain't mad at you, okay? Cause you giving me like, oh um, okay. Um, yeah, you go for it. All right, so love, harmony, relationships, unions, partnerships, sexuality, passion, values, alignment, deep love, a choice like to strengthen two together. Um, I like y'all energy right now, Virgo, because y'all giving me like, ooh. Um, considering all the possible, all the possibilities. So a choice being made, your heart and soul desires new beginnings that's literally what that card means choices making choices doing the hard work like and also your heart and soul desires more desire like your shit is basically saying i desire something different than whatever the fuck this was okay i ain't mad at you and i like it so also coming into um a higher consciousness spiritual religious um well, damn. Also, Virgo, so just so you were clear, um, wherever you are, the way you acting, make sure that you walk your talk because God is definitely watching and you can't be, because y'all giving me very uppity, like, I desire this and I'm trying to be that, but make sure that your ass is walking your talk, okay? So, because you will get called on your shit real, real quick, um, because literally it's like you giving me a vibe of I'm above it all. So you best to have your ass to be above it all. Um, make sure your actions and your attitude and your act and your uh, your morals and values match the same. So like I said, something was sneaky. Don't be out being a fucking thought. Because if that's what that was, then so somebody meeting the person that they want to be with or they desire to be with while they're behind the back of somebody else so if that's the case then don't be being that because that ain't a uppity that's a thought okay so take it how it resonates for you um or them i don't care either way but look at this card at the bottom too now i just picked this one up to tell you what it was but then you got this one here so again getting bringing everything into alignment i love y'all reading so hopefully everything matches um, your energy and what is saying, but either way, there's a mother figure or a friend around that's very much, 
um, and your energy also that's very confident, very wise, like a teacher energy, somebody that's very good at inspiring, inspiring others. So this person could be, you know, rooting for you or pushing you to kind of make the change into whatever situation this is. Um, it's good advice if you want to do it. But don't allow for somebody to kind of push you in a direction that maybe you might not want to go. It looks like you want to go. But either way, just be very mindful that it's your decision and not nobody else's decision. And that's it. That's all. So other people can't, you know, oh, if I was you, could they not you? At the end of the day, you still have to live with the choice. But to me, it looks like whatever it is that you desire, Virgo, is very important to you. So... All right, walk your talk, baby. So this is that. Hopefully it helped, Virgo. If you'd like to donate towards my channel, all the links are in the description box below. Go with God.